Welcome to Beauty Chatty, guys. This is me and my shy looking dog, Tebeg. We're just chilling at home because I'm really tired. So I've been really busy, uh, stressed from work, led to drinking lots of coffee all day long, drinking beer at night, sleepless nights, and ordering lots of delivery foods. So basically all kinds of bad things that really took a toll on my skin. And I cannot let this continue any longer, guys. What's the simplest and best way to energize this dull, tired looking skin? Well, hydration of course. That is why I'm starting a 7 day water drinking challenge from today. It starts right now. Yay! since I started doing the water drinking challenge. My belly is full of water and my skin feels a lot more hydrated, but is it really? Well, I got curious and that's why I came here, the beautiful Amur Pacific RNI Center. Woo, it's full of greens here, guys. <laughs> well, let's take a look beneath the surface of my skin. Let's go. Gina! I know, you're already dressed in your left coat. Yeah, oh, it's been great. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I started doing the water challenge a uh -huh. week ago and you know, How's I always going? had dry skin, right? Yeah. But it feels a lot more hydrated now. Um, what do you think? Oh, you look great, Sancho. <laughs> and so yeah. today I prepared a little something for you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to check your overall skin condition, such as moisture level, elasticity, skin texture, and skin damage mm -hmm. to see how much the moisture has actually repaired and replenished your skin condition. Wow, so that sounds a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go check it out right now. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> wow, we've got a lot of devices. Yeah, right. So today we're going to check. Uh, your overall skin condition, as mm -hmm. I mentioned, and we're going to start by checking your skin texture Ooh, using okay. this machine. And I'm going to take a picture of your skin with All right. this machine. Oh, so. uh, my cheek. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is the result. Oh. And as you can see, your skin doesn't have a lot of color differences. Right. right. Yeah, it looks yeah. very um, quite even, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So this. Uh, indicates that you don't have a lot of bumpiness in your skin, oh. which means you have a real smooth skin. And mm -hmm. now let's move on to uh, checking your elasticity. Okay. Okay, and the results are out here. The closer the number here is to the number one, mm -hmm. it means that you have a, a higher elasticity mm. and your score seems quite close to number one. Oh, yay. yeah. <laughs> so, also, so it's improved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We can also say that your right. skin elasticity has improved uh -huh. and you have good skin elasticity. <laughs> okay, so lastly, now let's move on to checking the hydration level of okay. your skin. Moisture and, levels. Yeah, yeah, the mm -hmm. moisture level of your skin with this uh, machine. On my cheek? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see the results. It has definitely gone up, like in all in the 70s. The average of your result is around 75, so you can say. Above average. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hangzhou, <laughs> still everyone wants more, right? Mm. So keeping yourself hydrated is important, but there's one more thing that we really need. Do you remember hyaluronic acid? Uh -huh, of course, I can never forget hyaluronic acid. Uh, it's a critical element that really locks moisture in our skin, right? Yeah, that's right. And do you also remember that the amount of hyaluronic acid that is naturally produced in our skin diminishes as we age? Oh my god, Jenna. It's depressing already, stop reminding me. But since you have uh, especially dry skin, you need to drink lots of water and use products containing hyaluronic acid to repair your damaged skin and strengthen the skin barrier. So that's your way to perfect glass skin. Follow my lead to perfect smooth glass skin. We're back in the beauty and life lab. Now Gina, so how do we get this glass skin? Well, before I teach you all the good stuff, how much water did you drink in a day during the challenge, Sangjo? 
Um, so my goal was to drink as much water as possible, and I drank water out of my tumbler. I filled it about three to four times a day, so that's about 1.5 liters. Mm, well, this is actually impressive. You drank more than I thought you would, <laughs> but it's still less than the amount recommended by the World Health Organization. What? You're 0.5 liters short. So that's about one more water bottle per day? Jeez, 1.5 liter was hard enough for me. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy target, right? But even if you keep yourself fully hydrated with water, that's never enough for your skin. Mm. So that's why you need to add in other things in order to obtain a moist, smooth, glass-like skin. The secret ingredient I'm going to introduce today is this. Oh wow, it's the water bank cream that you recommended last time. It is. It's the water bank cream that's filled with hyaluronic acid. I know that I've already talked about this product multiple times before, but since hyaluronic acid is so important for our skin, I just had to bring it again. For any of our beauty chatties who have dry skin like Song Chu, uh, this water bank cream will be a definite game changer. This cream fully hydrates your skin as if you coated your skin with a moisture protecting shield and gives you that desirable, dewy, glass-like skin that is full of moisture. Yeah, I know this product through and through, but I just want to show our viewers the beautiful texture of this water bank cream once again. Look. Look how it glows. This cream also has a powerful moisturizing ability that allows your skin to maintain its hydration to up to 100 hours. 100 hours? So that's about four days? And it's especially important to thoroughly moisturize your skin and maintain healthy skin condition in times like this so that it doesn't get easily irritated by external factors. The micro low molecular blue hyaluronic acid in the water bank cream penetrates deeply into the skin uh, to provide a thorough moisturizing effect and relieves damaged skin barriers. So there's basically no reason to not apply it every day. Well, is it just me? But the way you're talking sounds like uh, there are more experiments to run today. <laughs> I mean, it's always fun seeing the effects of skincare products right before my eyes. Okay, so we have cream A and water bank cream prepared here, and we have added some blue colored dye in them to check how fast they get absorbed into the sponge. Oh, no wonder they're so blue. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, so now we're going to apply the creams on the sponge. So do you mind helping me out, Sangcha? Of course not. So what do I do? Um, uh, you take the left side, okay. and I'll take the right side. All right, so I'll take the water bank cream mm -hmm. and put like jam on a scone. Uh -huh, Ooh, yeah. it looks so appetizing. <laughs> Spread out the cream on the sponge. Okay, I think mine's done. Well done. Thank you. And now if you just wait for a while, we'll be able to see the results. All right, 30 minutes left. So I'm going to use a scissor to cut uh, the sponges. Creamy. It uh -huh. has been absorbed this much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to cut the sponge with the water bank cream. Oh wow! Oh, so I can see the water bank cream has definitely sipped in through the sponges more. Wow! So that means it gets absorbed into our skin better than other creams. Yeah, now do you see why I recommend this product? You can clearly see just how fast the product quickly and easily got absorbed. So imagine what this cream would do to your skin if you applied it every day. Wow, I thought the water drinking challenge would be uh, enough to keep my body hydrated, but having this water bank cream on my face every day would definitely seal the deal. Hope you guys enjoyed today as much as we did. Uh, if you want to learn more about the water bank cream or if you have any skin related questions or concerns, then please leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye! Bye.